As a person who lives in the public eye, there's been times in Elizabeth's life that she wasn't expecting that her private life would become so public. Uh, one of those times was when she was forced to reveal that she had a problem with alcoholism. There are days when you wake up and you feel so horrible that the only thing that will make you feel better is more alcohol. For many years, Elizabeth struggled with really crippling anxiety, and one of the main ways that she used to cope uh, was by drinking alcohol. After it came to light that Elizabeth had a problem with alcoholism, she decided to write a tell-all book. I was brutally, painfully honest about my struggles with anxiety and how I self-medicated with alcohol. Writing that book was one of the hardest things I have ever done and one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. After her book was released, Elizabeth was really surprised by you know, the amount of people that reached out to her. I give speeches all over the country and I still hear from people literally every day. Every single day I hear from somebody who um, has read my book and can relate or um, has given my book to somebody else because they want somebody else to get help. Addiction is a public health emergency. More people die from addiction every year than died in the Iraq, Afghan, and Vietnam wars combined. Despite that, only one in 10 people who need help get it. 90% of people who need help in this country don't get it. And we have got to do something to chip away at that stigma. So I feel grateful that I could take what was a painful chapter in my life and make something good out of it.